Ladybird is a name that has been used in England for more than 600 years for the European beetle Coccine elisepem punctata. As knowledge about insects increased, the name became extended to all its relatives, members of the beetle family Coccinidae. Of course these insects are not birds, but butterflies are not flies, nor are dragonflies, stoneflies, mayflies, and fireflies, which all are true, common names in folklore, not invented names. The lady for whom they were named was the Virgin Mary, and common names in other European languages have the same association. The German name Marian Kafer translates to Mary Beetle or Lady Beetle. Prose and poetry mention Ladybird, perhaps the most familiar in English being the children's rhyme, Ladybird, Ladybird, fly away home, your house is on, fire, your children all gone. Ladybirds and their larvae are some of the most recognizable beetles, no matter where your location. Both mature adults and the larvae are skilled garden minibee asps, predating aphids, scale insects, white fly and caterpillars in some cases. One ladybird larvae can eat up to 100 aphids in one day. Ladybird larvae look very different compared with the adults. They're small, approx 1 cm, elongated and spiky with no shell. They typically have spots and stripes of color, and most are dark colored. Although a vast majority of ladybirds are garden friendly, there's one group which can be problematic. The subfamily Epilipini are herbivores, attacking the leaves and fruits of some vegetables. Where they occur, they can be minor garden pests. Adults, when thinking of these insects, our first thought is bright red with black polka dots. However, these insects are surprisingly diverse and colorful. Base colors include red, orange, white, black or yellow. They can have spots or stripes. Ladybirds are typically hemispherical, short-legged, with the head tucked in closely behind the following body segment, pronotum. They can appear smooth and shiny, or hairy and matte. They're a small insect, growing no larger than a 1 cm. A two-spot ladybird will only grow as large as 0.5 cm. Ladybird larvae are distinctive and almost diamond-shaped. They're commonly black or grey with markings to match their parents, for example a yellow ladybird nymph will be black with yellow markings. Of course, this is just a general rule of thumb. Some larvae produce a waxy, substance that forms tufts behind its rear end. You can attract beneficial ladybirds and larvae into your garden by installing insect habitats. This could either be a bug box or insect hotel, or other alternatives include flower borders, hanging baskets, hedges, wildflower patches and herb gardens. Ladybug, also called ladybird beetle, any of approximately 5,000 widely distributed species of beetles whose name originated in the Middle Ages, when the beetle was dedicated to the Virgin Mary and called Beetle of Our Lady. Ladybird beetles are hemispheric in shape and usually 8 to 10 millimeters. 0.3 to 0.4 inch long. They have short legs and are usually brightly colored with black, yellow, or reddish markings. The color of the wing covers and number of spots vary among species. The pattern of the nine-spotted ladybird beetle, Coccine elenovemnitata, which has four black spots on each reddish orange wing cover, elytron, and one shared spot, is an example of the typical color pattern of ladybird beetles. The life cycle requires about four weeks, so that several generations are produced each summer. The long, slender, soft-bodied larvae, which are usually grey with blue, green, red, or black spots, feed on other insects and insect eggs. The larvae pass through four growth stages and then attach to some object and pupate in their last larval skin. Large groups of ladybird beetles usually hibernate together each winter at the same location. Clusters of ladybird beetles are often gathered and sold to farmers and gardeners to control such insect pests as aphids, scales, and mites. The Australian ladybird beetle, or Vidalia beetle, rode Ola cardinalis, was brought to Western North America to help combat an outbreak of cotton equation scale, Isaria perchasi, which threatened to ruin citrus orchards. Both the larvae and adults of the convergent larvae bug, Hippodamia convergence, are important aphid predators. Although most ladybird beetles and their larvae are carnivorous, several feed on plants and are quite destructive.
Two of these are the squash beetle, Epilipna borealis, and the Mexican bin beetle, E. Vrivestis. The familiar children's rhyme Ladybug Ladybug, fly away home, your house is on fire, your children do roam was a reference to the burning of the hop vines in England that took place following the harvest and cleared the fields but, also killed numerous ladybird beetles. In folk medicine ladybird beetles have been prescribed as remedies for colic, measles, and toothache.